So I think I'm gonna let the whole thing be a little bit scorched instead of a bright white. And I'm just gonna let her be more of a off-white kind of looking thing. Just change her look completely now. Why not? kind of cool. I like it. I think I'll probably sew that a bit to kind of straighten it where I want it. Got to fix the arms. I'll just hide her other one behind her for now. Okay, so now I'm just taking a little bit of the black. I'm just using my same brush that had the pink on it because it's just kind of mixing in to all black. And then I'm going underneath her eyelid right here and darkening that and kind of pulling it out to the edge. So it's leaving a nice line there that makes it look like she's got lashes. Just a subtle change, but it sure is cute. I do a little bit down here too, but I want to keep it light. There we go. Okay, now her face is cooled again, and we've got all the paint on her that we need. And I'm just gonna go through and rub my rubber tip tool into these eyes again. I don't know if you can see that cloudiness, and then how much better it looks when the cloudiness is gone. Those look good. All right, then the last thing I want to do is take some of my, right now I'm just using the Flecto Varathane, and I'm going to um, color her lips with it. So it looks like I'm just going to use the back of this right now. Okay. 
Okay. And I'll want to do several layers, but let it dry completely between each layer. And I kind of drag it out a little bit so it's thinner when I put it up on her lips. This kind looks a little bit milky at first, but it doesn't dry that way. It'll dry perfectly clear. With the gloss also you can be accentuating the shape of the lips. That one got just a little bit more than what we wanted right there. So the first layer or two just kind of tend to seep in. So you want to keep on putting more layers on until it's going to stay glossy for you. Okay, there she is. I'm going to go rinse out my brush, and I'll do that a couple more times. But we are pretty much done with this little one. Now I just need to finish her costume, but I think I'll do that tomorrow. I love how that face turned out. That's way better. So if I had all my supplies, I would give her the chestnut. Um, I think they call it chest. A chestnut, but it's more of a crimson color. Let's see if I have any dolls that have it. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use this because those are, I don't know, they're pretty curls. I'm just gonna check one more doll and see if I can find the crimson. Otherwise, I'll use her curls. I'm gonna give her a different, different hairdo. In fact, I think I want to redo that face too. I'm not loving it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's the day of, it's the week of uh, face offs, I guess. Who knows? Hmm. Actually, I do have a chance to use the crimson, but I'm thinking I like the auburn better. Anyway, I'm thinking I like the auburn better. Just have a few cute little curls right here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do around her face. Maybe a rib, some sort of ribbon, like a tie or something like that. But yeah, I think, I think this color, it's not, uh, it's kind of the pinker auburn that comes sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to give her a few curls and see how that goes. And hey, I'll keep you along for the ride. So this sweet little one, I think she was my first toddler doll. Now that I look at her, I feel like her nose has scooted over too far, so I'm thinking, hey, soft. <laughs> anyway, it's good practice to do faces. I had this idea of trying to do like a face a day, you know, and just seeing how much I could improve sculpting wise. Also, you know, since finding out about the spectrum stuff and autism, um, I thought maybe I'll lean into the autistic sides. And some of that is the detail, you know, attention to detail. And I think that's why I've been able to be a good sculptor uh, and largely self-taught other than the awesome videos from Patricia and Patricia Rose and Jack Johnson. Johnson. Ah, okay. There you go, sweet lady. We'll get you fixed. Oh, she looks kind of cute like that too, actually. <laughs> Okay, but I just, I want to give them faces that are more like this kind of face. And this one isn't perfect yet, but it's pretty good. Like, I love this one. But I think I'll get there. It's just a kind of a different style, but I super like it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I'm just kind of seeing what we've got locks-wise already. Thinking maybe something like that. There's a few that are longer. That's kind of cute too. I like that idea. So it's kind of like she's got a bunch of hair caught up in her little outfit. 
Okay, so now we'll try to set them out in that same order. <laughs> See if I can remember. Glasses on. Oh, okay. Don't want that. <laughs> that could be a problem. There we are, that's what I meant to do there. Okay, pretty soon I'm gonna actually bring my wet wipes over here too, if I found them. I just need to get my desk set up nice again. So I've got some birds, they're having fun. My dogs are being quiet as far as I can tell. That's the only issue I'm going through right now and I'm thinking of getting a bark collar or something like that. I guess it vibrates or something if they start barking. Because, you know, it just bugs the neighbors is really the main thing. Okay, look at that. All right, so basically I'm just going to put this stuff down and how it looks cute to me. And I figure I'll be doing something around the top, so I'm not going to worry too much about how things are going there. Okay, these are all kind of clumped together. I think I can just cut this. If only I had scissors. I know they're in the vicinity. See this, this is what my life is like. And this is what I'm trying to work on. Oh, dang it, those are not scissors. I just hope there'd be clippers at least. Oh, I think I found them. Yes. They were within reach, but I want to get everything so it's super easy for me, so when I can sculpt that I don't get frustrated by the organizational issues. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. She looks so cute. Holy crap, she looks cute. Um. Okay. Oh, sounds like my dogs are crying. So I'm gonna go let him in. Look at that, she's so cute. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's so cute. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> wow, I wanna make more, that's awesome. I'm so much happier with her. This is more what I meant, yay. So I took a break and was out with the dogs and I got one of the dogs in when it was time to go in and then the other dog was acting so funny and I found out it was because one of my bunnies was out, Marshmallow. He's been an escapist lately, so he's out bouncing around in the snow and so I took about three minutes trying to get him and then I came back in and in that amount of time, literally, I had like, what, a minute to look at her and go, oh, she's so awesome, I love her so much and now she got destroyed. So that was very sad. So I guess my next video now is gonna be on how to repair this, cause she was so dang cute and at least her eyes are still, I'm gonna try putting clay on it. And I realize that the surface might be kind of wonky, but it's still gonna be a really good sculpting aid for me at least. And thank God I got the video put together of it, but that was heartbreaking. Anyway, let's just move forward and keep going. I think what I'm gonna do first is kind of, oh, I don't really want to cut stuff away. Mm, I don't want to have to do this at all. It was so cute. Okay. Mm, all right. Yeah, I'll probably cut a bit away so I can do her cheek again and cut this away and that away so I can fill it all in with clay. That's the proper thing to do. So that's what I'll need to do.